Look, without pumping up our tyres, it was months ago that I argued that we were not entitled to have faith in the judgment of the Reserve Bank or its Governor, Dr Lowe. It was months ago that I identified what he said in November last year, and I quote, it is still plausible that the first increase in the cash rate will not be before 2024. Yet when Lowe made those statements last November, as you know, economic activity was accelerating, housing prices climbing, commodity prices going through the roof, price pressures emerging everywhere. There should have been interest rate increases. Dr Lowe and his Reserve Bank, with about 1,342 full-time equivalent employees, had their eyes shut when the housing market took off astronomically. Innocent and unsuspecting Australians were seduced by cheap money. I said months ago on this program that the credibility of the Reserve Bank, and indeed many economists who were then silent, was underwater. You see, this is the problem with business, isn't it? Business, economists, bankers, they're all woke. They're frightened to stick their heads up. Gutless is the word. Where were they when the Reserve Bank was transparently wrong? There are nine people on the board of the Reserve Bank. Five are business representatives. Four are economists. What homework were they doing? None. Now, those who were silent then are clamouring that the RBA boss owes Australians an apology. Mainstream media running front page stories criticising the handling of monetary policy. Where were they months ago when Lowe was making the ludic ludicrous predictions which I highlighted? It was last year that I reminded you months ago that Lowe said, I still struggle with the scenario in which rates need to be raised next year. Not impossible, but I would say it's extremely unlikely. Well, here we are now where the cash rate has jumped by another half a percent and borrowers in Struggle Street are feeling betrayed. They believe the Reserve Bank. The Treasurer, Jim Chalmers, is saying he's staying out of the debate. No, Treasurer, get your hands dirty. Be on the side of those who are now facing crippling mortgage pressure. New data shows 1.84 million Australian households are now feeling the pinch. Are you listening, Dr Lowe? And all you woke economists who had nothing to say last year, 46,000 homeowners in Victoria, almost 16,000 in Queensland, 63,000 in New South Wales, mortgage stress. That is, simply and sadly, they can't pay the mortgage. To be fair, I've said this before and I don't mean to be harsh, borrowers should have had the common sense to know that cheap money wouldn't last forever. But now we've got this unprecedented succession of interest rate hikes, which will dramatically slow the economy, drive up unemployment with no immediate impact on inflation, such that inflation, that is increased prices and increased borrowing costs, are putting pressure on all household budgets. But now the same experts who couldn't see the train crash coming, that's last year, are saying, oh, the Reserve Bank might have to start supporting the economy. That is, it's time for the Reserve Bank to back off, press the pause button, and wait to see what's going to happen following the fastest string of interest rate increases in the last 30 years. I've said before, raising interest, interest rates is a blunt instrument. How could we have any faith in what the Reserve Bank is saying? 